recently went on a vacation and we uh, completely unplugged everything. It was kind of amazing. Did you do? Because you guys take cool vacations. Where did you go? We went to Big Sur, which is kind of you know a lot of nature. Oh. Everybody, everybody in your audience is from Big Sur. We get the whole audience, everyone is at Big Sur, and there's a bus that picks up our audience at Big Sur <laughs> and drives them down the coast. It's, like it's very elaborate. Five hour drive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we went, and we were so tired. It was at Thanksgiving, and we literally checked our cell phones at the front desk of the hotel and didn't have cell phones for 10 days, didn't have any electronics. And it was amazing. There was no, you know, like, separation anxiety or anything like that. We just immediately started doing like 500 jigsaw puzzles and reading books. And I, I kind of got to know him all over again. I, I learned his middle name. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your middle name? I was like, wow, your beard is really coming in gray. <laughs> he didn't realize my hair had gotten longer. Yeah. It was the whole You're thing. You're supposed to realize how much you love each other, not things like, you have a middle name? Oh, you're Protestant? You're not supposed to remember this. Yeah. You're not supposed you to figure that like mole that looked yeah. at. Yeah. yeah. Now, is it one of those rustic places? I've been to some places that there's literally like you go use an outhouse. Is it one of those deals? Uh, no, it's extremely fancy. However, Conan, mm -hmm. I think I would do well, and Andy, I think I would do well in, in a rustic setting because one of my special skills that really not very many people know about is that I enjoy peeing outside. Yeah. Wow. I'm very good at it. Yes. Yeah. Is... I'm very good. Yeah. What do you mean you're, you're very good at it? I'm, I'm, I consider myself to be quite good at it. Okay. And, like, uh, like okay, all right. So. I recently went to the next level. <laughs> In the spirit it, of the holidays, let's hear about that. Okay. <laughs> you might be thinking something else, but the next level, uh, the, the, the natural, obvious next level is uh, peeing into a bottle in a moving vehicle. Oh, well, they're not moving, in a vehicle. So that, uh, is, that was not what I was thinking as the next level, anyway. No, that, anyway. Yeah. no I wanted to challenge myself. We were, uh, <laughs> we were stalled out on the highway somewhere between North and South Carolina on our comedy tour because we drive ourselves, we rent an mm -hmm. SUV, a drive. Mm -hmm. So we're in this car and we are at a complete standstill for two hours behind a, an accident involving a logging truck you must know, and <laughs> I had to use the restroom, and I couldn't get out of the car, because everybody's at a full stop, and there's headlights, and, And people you know. probably wandering around. You can't go out there, yeah. No, there's a lot of stuff happening. So, um, Nick cut off the top of a plastic bottle, and I crawled over the front seat into the back seat, and it was crammed with all of our luggage and our dog crate and our guitar cases and, you know, all these things. So I, cr I get in there and I'm in a little space that's just like this bag. And I have my little bottle and I did it. And, and I did it. And then, uh, and the bottle almost wasn't big enough because I really had to go. Yeah. And then Nick just like, it was like a medical show. He just opened the door of the car and he just poured it out onto the highway. Because that's what they do in To me that's show. true love. That is a true loving couple yeah. where you work with that kind of synchronicity. Right. That's beautiful. Thank you.